Myrmus nigrisins is the scientific name of a nematode, an invertebrate animal affiliated to the phylum Nematoda. This nematode is known to science for a very long time, as it was described almost 200 years ago. It's largely widespread, being found mostly in North America and Europe. A summary of the life cycle. A gravity nematode female lays thousands of eggs on foliage of plants, which are consumed by a grasshopper as it feeds. After egg hatching, nematode juveniles develop inside the insect body until reach the fourth stage, or J4, which actively leave the grasshopper's body, migrating to the soil. There, they evolve to adult males and females. Nematode females, larger than the males, live in the soil, but in the springtime they climb on plants to lay an extremely high number of eggs. Their color varies. Males are shorter. Here, a detailed image of one nematode egg containing a juvenile can be seen to the right side. Above, many other eggs appear as brown spots arranged in ranks inside the female's body. These photos illustrate the characteristic behavior of the gravity nematode females during rainy days in springtime, climbing on plants until reach the foliage, where they apparently dance just before start the deposition of eggs. Let's watch this interesting video. But after all, when and how is the grasshopper killed? This happens when juveniles J4 actively emerge from the insect body and move to the soil. Here we have the final act. In this beautiful photo, side by side remain the dead insect host, a green-colored grasshopper and its killer the nematode Mermis nigrisens. Again, in these two photos, individual and crowded juveniles can be seen moving outside the dead bodies of uh, grasshoppers. Mermis nigrisens is not parasitic only to grasshoppers, but to many other types of insects that incidentally or usually feed upon plant leaves. It is beneficial to men, as it's a natural agent of biocontrol of grasshoppers and other insect pests. Thanks for watching.